Okay. Let's make sure I'm on engineer. Yep. So you get him to start his conversation. Pick up everything here. While he's still talking, you can actually put catapult down. Although you can't really build it now. Let them come. And hope for the west. If it's not west, you reset. It's west, so that's what we want. first encounter you get is a stone obstruction, which is where you got to tell the archers to fire at the Dunlendings bringing stones. Um, in the last update they increased the time that the archers will, f will fire, which is nice. You have a little extra time to get between the two, but it's not a whole lot of extra time. It's still really easy to fail if you, if you don't keep up on them. Alright, so I place the fourth barricade here-ish, just for good measure. Um, I'll grab the other catapult, and I'll just take the barricade, save some time, and we'll go build it over here. Catapult. I build the catapult off to the side a little bit so you can actually get the, to the archer easier. This is not really necessary, it's just it helps you speed things up at the end. and also to initiate this encounter a little faster. couple of shots. Since it'll probably start soon, I'm gonna go put a trap at the end of this barricade chain. Um, yep, there goes the counter. This just, in case any get through, it'll stop in there and the soldiers can kill them a little faster. I'm probably already a little too slow here. What this increase in time does is it gives you a little bit of time to um, build that catapult. So when I come back here, he's still firing for a few seconds. So I can get a couple builds in on this. There we go. Yeah, basically, if you if you miss any one of those orders, even for like five seconds, um, it's not enough. They'll miss one of the carriers, and you lose platinum. You gotta be careful. The 
another little trick is to start the mount process before you give the order, because you can give the order while you're mounting. Of course, I don't remember to do that all the time, but you know, it saves a second or something. See, they still manage to get through, which is fine. There's some sort of bug where they kind of give up and, and go back. There's really no danger of the soldier dying. Okay, I don't have time to upgrade. Yeah, see, he came over and shot like two arrows. Oops. And then he runs back. There's a warrior that got through. Okay, I don't think I have time to upgrade this. Uh, maybe I, no, I don't. If I'd started it right away, maybe a bit. It just gives it gives more time to set up for the powder at the gate when you get to the third encounter. I think this is okay here. Also, I don't they changed it where you can actually see the Dunlendings coming every time now, so it may be possible if you were running it as a duo to have the catapult set up to attack them. Yeah, whatever. So we can get this upgrade in. A little close. Yeah, I, that's a bug, um, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> oh no! Okay, that's not good. So, next time I go through, I'll probably put another trap down. I don't know why they're getting through, but... Okay, so let's go put another trap. Here. Okay, make sure I got platinum. I did. Okay. So no problem there. Uh, I'm actually going to go, rather than speed up the end of the, of the last wave, I'm going to go start setting up for the next wave. Where normally I would just kind of get it over as fast as possible. But I think, I think this works a little better. It's certainly more active. I already have a barricade. Okay. Here they come on the east.
think that's enough barricades. Sometimes I put a third one down, and I might if I have some time. Um, I've also been putting... I put barricades on the western part here. I've lost soldiers before, and I'm not sure where they're, I've lost them, but I think it's here. Um, I leave these here. I think taking these down helps, or hurts, with the commander, rather. Um, so I kind of leave those as is. And I just take, I take from here. And then I will upgrade these. Dismantle these two. on two-handed just in case anybody gets through. I have, I have no idea how this catapult will hit this group, but it does. Even though the targeter is nowhere close to the group, it hits them. So, whatever. It's only a problem if you like pre-take some of these down before you start trying to hit the trolls. You can actually end this wave too fast. So, it's better to just start doing this. I do want it to start, though. Surprised it hasn't already. Nope, oh, that one didn't hit. Maybe it has to be a full group. There we go. Okay, we'll change this to slow powder. And we do basically just wait for the trolls. There's the troll. Wait till he starts running. Reload for the next one. And go help out with the troll. And put a trap down as well. Good job, guys. Yeah, I don't know why they come so early, but they do every time, and it doesn't seem to affect 
the end result. So it's just a little jarring to see them start marching on the end wave before you're even two fifths into the encounter. Okay, got him. Oop, wrong shell. So good on that troll. Not to worry. I don't know, so it's so hard to select that troll. Excellent work. Okay, last two come at once, and you can only hit one of them with the catapult. You don't have time to reload, and they stagger themselves. But that's fine. Not really in any danger. And we'll reload it. Um, just for the next, when we come back to end it. I won't re-aim it at this point, but we'll go run fast. And since there's two of them, we'll actually go all the way down. Wait till they get close-ish. Stun them all. This guy didn't get stunned. Now I get Oh ho ho, I got another gold. Oh, it's a first stage symbol. Sweet. So now we set up for powder at the gate, just in case we get it. And we need another two barricades. Hey, Overlooks. Yeah, that's crazy. That's two platinums in a row now where I've gotten a gold. That's unbelievable. It's just all my luck got saved up <laughs> for these two rolls, I guess. Okay, get the last barricade. Now I'll probably 
So I've already upgraded the catapult, so that's good. I'm already done if it's flames at the gate. An enemy war machine approaches flames at the, the gate. gate. So that's good. This is the much easier one and much quicker. So all that work we did. Um, I can actually, since I have time here, I can help give this guy bu uh, arrows, and that'll make him attack the battering ram and actually make it go even faster. Um, and since I didn't need this barricade, I can put this here to protect against the guys that come. And we'll load this with heavy. Demoralizing. And crank it out. Okay, do I have time to give him more arrows? Probably. I need to actually fire this. I don't, yeah, I don't have time. Yeah, I tried to give you more arrows, but it didn't work. from that attempt to get the arrows. Okay, here come some guys. No big deal, you just... In my case, you can just challenge them, but... The gate's already on fire, that's what I'm worried about. This should kill it. Yep. And plot. So now you can just go um, clean up. Like even that challenge wasn't necessary, um, so you don't actually have to be a guardian to do this. Um, this is probably the one where you don't need force attack very much because the encounters don't require it. And in the case of like powder in the gate, it's uh, the enemies are immune to force attack anyway. bother with this last shot, but we'll do it for good measure. We'll go to the other side. I could upgrade this for distance and use triple shot, but I, I think in the time it takes you to do that, you can just launch uh, grape shots like this, and they end up moving up before you can upgrade anyway.
Really? Come on, there's like one dude there. Just, just end it. Thank you. Okay, so... That's how you solo Helmstike without preparation. And get a full plot. It does require you to be rank 5, or 4 or 5 engineer for sure. You don't need to have officer set up really. I mean the only officer command I gave was to give these command this commander two-handed weapon, but didn't even need it. The trolls never even made it that far. And so what normally is at least half an hour, you can cut it down to uh, about 25, 20, 25 minutes, depending on the encounter that you get in the last part. And some, there's some luck involved in how fast the soldiers kill the waves. Like I've had it end right after I kill the catapult and flames at the gate. Uh, so there's some variance on how long it takes, but otherwise, that one goes pretty fast now, which is nice, because you get um, quite a few points for it, and it's another way to get a guaranteed plot. 